Alrighty, so I have not beaten Floor 3 of Ratatasker yet, but with the new Valenti coming out, I'm hoping I'll be able to next week. But we are on Gon's account, and obviously he was the first person to clear the uh, the Ratatasker boss. So we have 18 million box CC to play around with, should, which should be, you know, kind of fun. And he does have the brand new Mael Relic, so that is what I wanted to mess around with today. I have not really watched many videos on it. I think I've watched like one video, uh, and I just kind of want to make my own opinion about it. I've heard that it's not great, but like I said, I want to see for myself. So, if you don't know, it is increases the hero's damage dealt by 20%, up to 60% when a goddess ally uses a single target attack, increases the hero's attack related stats by 10%, up to 30% when a goddess ally uses an all target attack. So, we're basically just going to be kind of building up in the first early turns, and then we are going to push into attacking with Mael, hopefully doing some pretty good damage. I'm interested, because Mael is... I don't want to call him the weakest link on the team because, you know, we do have an LR character now with Margaret. She's a really, really solid support character. And then Liz can deal some really good damage, um, you know, and she's also really supporty with her passive. But Mael, uh, his damage has definitely gone down quite a bit. He came out in February of last year, so he's been power crept quite a bit. Uh, but, you know, there's there's room for improvement here. So he does have Melee, which scares me a little bit. I would really like to not... Um, what is it? AoEs are 10% attack related. So we could maybe try to go for something like this. I don't know. It might be better to just like spam other characters' cards first. I'm kind of scared about putting the debuffs on for the melee to eat. Typically, when I use the goddess team, I would like to try and not use any debuff cards early on so that way he doesn't gain stacks we did pretty good damage there i have to say even turn one so that's kind of nice he does gain nanashi buffs so that's going to make him a bit tankier uh we do have a ton of damage reduction and everything because he has a 6-6 six, six liz unfortunately i think that kind of ends up being the requirement to run the goddess team nowadays like if you don't have a 6-6 six, six elizabeth uh, with like the you know the big damage reduction debuff or the big da damage reduction buff on top of the like eight turns or ten turns or whatever it is uh, of revives that you get, uh, it's a bit bit ridiculous. I think um, not really a big fan of the way that they did that. So let's throw on another AOE. I'm gonna try to kill him off here, and then I. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't have hit him with that. I maybe should have just went all in. Because I'm hoping that this kills. Okay, it does kill. Nanashi buffs kind of help tank there a bit. I don't. He's not below you know 50%, so this isn't going to kill. And even if this stuns, which it does, uh, he's going to cleanse that off at the beginning of the turn. So that was maybe a, a, a bit of a, a Dumbo play there. But um, we could go for even more damage reduction. The one thing that's nice about facing Geldas is that she... She gets shut down quite a bit by damage reduction. So, like, because her skills don't really have skill effects that matter too much, if you just put damage reduction on, she just starts to do a lot less to you. Which is really, really nice. So, I think we'll try to throw on um, a buff here and cleanse some debuffs off. I should hopefully be able to use something like this and kill him. I'm not, like, super built up on Liz stacks at the moment so that's not super great the buff unfortunately does not give a stack i think it's only attacks pretty good damage there even kills nanashi i'm actually pretty happy with that and then boom we crit 253 we're chilling she draws ultimate which is really unfortunate um if he well okay goes for my l if he kills my l here i do draw my liz ultimate does not kill my L. We have just, like, the damage reduction on this team is so insane. It, it just, it's just kind of nuts. Um, let's use this. That'll give us full stacks, and then we'll use a level 3 card with Liz, and that should push phase. How much is this going to do? Okay, I mean, close to 500k. I mean, I'm not hating on it. I think that level, uh, or, well, okay, that's unfortunate. The, um, the AoE that we used in the previous turn actually did a ton of damage, which I'm very happy with. Let's throw... Let's, let's buff, I guess, first. So let's maybe... Well, I guess I could throw it out, actually. Let's do this, this, and then... Mael's ultimate is insane, so I'm hoping that this is enough to kill. But, you know, like, she has a lot of HP, so we'll see how it works out for us. So, level 2 buff, 50% damage dealt. We put 3 stacks on. What are we looking like? Boom. 2.7 mil on just her alone. 
So that's pretty insane. I like that a lot. Uh, if you're new to the channel, by the way, and you want to stick around, feel free to subscribe. We're on the road to 20k. Let's hop back into this thing. We're obviously, uh, we're in Challenger, so if you haven't noticed, which means that we're probably going to be facing bots, but he does a lot of top 100 and everything, so we're just kind of testing here. I'll probably revisit this a little bit on my account, because my Liz is not nearly as built up as his, uh, and I want to see if it kind of translates well. I, I'll be honest, without the Liz, I don't know that it will, but maybe if we can get my L built up enough or like Rush Ultimate or something with him, which I'm not a fan of, uh, of the Rush Ult with my L strat to make sure that you win with the Goddess team. It just doesn't. It just doesn't feel good. Like it doesn't. It, like who cares? Like anybody can kind of like rush an ultimate and kind of kill. So I don't know. That's just my my opinion on that. But uh, let's throw a couple of things out. This will give us 10% attack related and what 20% extra damage dealt with my L because we're using a single target and then an AOE. So we're not going to debuff this turn. Okay. I mean. Uh, Zeldris is really squishy in general, so it's not really surprising that we were able to kill him there. But, you know, every little bit helps. We get some good merges here. I can use, like, a big AoE or a big single target. He does not gain Nanashi buffs on his two main characters here, so that is good for me. Bots really love going for the, uh, the Margaret, which I guess is fine. Um, I don't think he has a way to debuff me unless he has Green Sario Link, which I don't think he does, so... If we put on the buff, it's not going to cleanse anything off, unfortunately, but maybe it would be better if I just go for something like this. I'm going to try to get rid of Melee. We're going to already be putting on debuffs anyway if we use the Myel AoE, so we, let's just lower their crit resistance by 30%. Dude, the AoE kind of goes insane with him now. I really like that. Oh, Okay. I mean, these are level 2 cards. Almost 800k. They weren't, like... So, Gelda wasn't incredibly built up with, like, a ton of HP yet. And obviously, you know, it's a bot, and he doesn't have the Nanashi, like, buffs on. But, I still think that that was really, really good. That actually made him look fairly impressive. I like that. Alright, we have an Esterosa Gelda team. Lots of Geldas in geared PvP, it seems. I'm not seeing any humans or anything just yet. Um, I almost want to just try to go with my L cards, like, straight out of the gate. This is a real player, because he's emoting. Um, do we just try to get rid of Esterosa? Maybe we do. If we can kill, which I assume we can kill turn one on an Esterosa, uh, we, he will only cleanse off two debuffs, which is kind of good. Almost? I mean, like, dude, that AoE damage is actually really nice. It's very impressive. Um... I don't, want, I don't want him to think I'm, like, disrespecting him. He did give me an emote, so I'm just trying to give him one back. But, <laughs> which I think my, I think if I'm not mistaken, my camera blocks the, uh, the emote over here on the right that I use. Just know it was, like, a little Merlin, a little Merlin emote, this one right here, if you can see it underneath. But, um, we get one more Myel single target card. We can even go for... See, in this scenario, I don't know it's, if it's better to go for the Liz, because if we attack with Myel first, we gain a Liz stack. But if we use the Liz cards first, uh, we gain stats for Myel. So I think because it's a Myel showcase, we'll obviously go for him. A little bit of damage there. We now have max stacks, which means the AoE should do some better damage. We, we actually remove the ultimate move gauge from him. No kill, but let's see this Myel damage. This is two orbs on. 239 is not crazy. I definitely think that the higher level cards are are like way more impressive. You know, who would have thought? But it's actually pretty cool. Um, okay, uses an AoE, which is good for me because I can try to cleanse that off for some, some extra stats with Margaret. Okay, nothing crazy there. Uh, let's just go for this. The AoE. And then I want a single target the uh the gelda i want to see it i'm best case scenario here we kill the uh the zeldris with the aoe oh i thought it was not going to be enough dude that's insane the aoe actually goes so hard okay so these are level one cards so now that we've got our you know our holy relic built up a little bit dude the damage is kind of sick like, I gotta say, like, I've, I've heard people say that it's, like, you know, kind of mediocre, like, pretty good, but not, like, worth going out of your way for. I think this is sick. I mean, 
you know, like I said in the beginning, we're on an account with 18 million box CC, so I, I could end up doing the, the another showcase with it on my account and be like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, it's not not as good as I maybe thought it was, and that 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 might actually happen, but for the moment, I'm enjoying myself, so that's something. This might be, uh, you know, the information here is a little skewed. Um, we could just go for the Zeldris again, since we're already going to be putting debuffs on. We might as well use the AoE here. So let's go for, a, like, triple AoE, because this is going to give me attack related. Um, I assume that he puts his own, like, even if he uses a card, it gives himself attack related. And it looks like maybe the Holy Relic activated before the attack went off, or does it activate again here? Uh, it does not. Okay, so it seems like maybe it... It adds the stats before the attack, which is, like, that's really good. Anything that, like, procs before you actually attack is always, like, you know, ten times better. So, that's actually huge. The fact that we're able to do, like, big AoE damage there. The, dude, the Goddess team might actually be in a really good spot. Like I said, you're probably going to have to have the 6-6 the six, six Liz if you want to go, like, really hard with it. But, I'm... I'm not hating on it. I'm gonna get rid of Melly here. Stun the Gelda so he can't really do any damage to me and get my ultimate. A level three doing 588. That's not crazy. Um, I haven't, well, these single targets are giving me extra damage dealt. So, I mean, I think maybe I should have, oh, we killed the Gelda off. Uh, I wasn't really expecting that. I guess if I would have used the Liz card first, I would have gained extra damage dealt, and then that level 3 card would have been a little bit more impressive. Plus, I mean, I can always buff with uh, with Margaret to increase my damage dealt also. So, Cusack's a really old character. If we did almost 3 mil to Gelda, I can only imagine this will be like around 4 mil. Alright, we didn't crit. <laughs> <laughs> and it was only 1.3. I don't know. His crit... I don't know what his crit damage is, but... I don't imagine it's like... Well, it's probably pretty high. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we have a Sins team here. And he's not even using Gother. So that is... Certainly interesting. In a scenario like this, I think I can get away... Like, you know, because this isn't going to break the shield. I can use this without penalty of him gaining a debuff. But I'm just going to go for the kill on King, so that way he doesn't get the attack related. He's going to lose a character. We get some damage off. Um, see how that kind of works out for us. Instant merge into a level 2 is fantastic. Getting an extra AoE. I'm loving the AoE damage. The AoE damage is is crazy good to me. That dang, that much damage from just that card on the Margaret is kind of insane to me. That's a that's a pretty impressive bond combo. I think this might pop res. Not quite. Melee actually looking a little bit less impressive there. Uh, he does gain all of his HP back, and so did Bond, so that's a little unfortunate. I'm gonna end up debuffing anyway, so I think we go with something like this. So we lower some crit resistance a little bit because Melly does have, you know, 30% defense related. Uh, pretty good, 400k, not crazy. We don't kill the Melly, so he's gonna gain all creation here. We disable our Mayel, and that might actually be a problem because if he if he pops Res here and kills the 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 Margaret, which I assume is a very high likelihood, I'm not gonna be able to cleanse off that. Uh, that disable. No crits, so that's good. What's this last card gonna be? Okay, I think we survived that. So lots of debuffs on me. Cleansing off these debuffs is actually gonna be huge as well. So let's just go for this, this, this. We're gonna get rid of these debuffs. We're gonna bump up the the Margaret Relic a bit. Or I think it's her passive because you cleanse off debuffs. Um, Lower their crit resistance, and then three characters on the field. I'm hoping for some big damage. Eight mil. Eight mil's pretty insane. Like, I know that there's, like, certain circumstances where characters can hit, like, really high numbers. But eight mil, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's throw in, like, one or maybe two more matches, depending on how they go. But uh, so far, I'm, uh, I'm getting the picture, at least uh, 
for the most part, I'm liking it. I, I really enjoy it. Alrighty. Okay, we have a Gilda Esterosa comp. Another thing to kind of note with this relic is that Mael is kind of the go-to DPS character for, um, whatchamacallit, um, he's the go-to DPS character for Nidhogg, and using him on Nidhogg, like, it, he already pretty consistently hits, like, damage caps and stuff like that for the most part, but there are some phases where the boss has, like, a, like a ton of damage reduction, and... Being able to build up this uh, this holy relic and make him do even more damage, like even more consistently, you might be able to even like it. It might bump up the speed run time for Nidhog quite a bit with the Angel team. Um, like in the later phases where he doesn't even have damage cap and stuff like that, like Freya and uh, Mael both are pretty much hitting damage cap with everything that they use. Like maybe maybe not the AOEs, but like if you're you know using an ultimate or you're using a single target, most of the time those are doing like insane amounts of damage. So the fact that it's just gonna be more on top of that might not help the most, because like obviously you can't do more damage than a damage cap, but I uh, I have to say, so far I I think that it's actually looking pretty impressive. Like I'm I'm kind of, like, surprised by how much damage he's doing, which is, you know, a good thing, for sure, because he's a really cool character. A lot of people really like Mael, and uh, so the fact that he might actually be usable again, definitely a win. Like, oh, I mean, I say usable. He, he was always usable. Like, the fact that he alone makes the team not be able to be lowered, like, uh, stat lowered with his passive, that's huge. He was basically future-proofed for that alone. Uh, well, I say future-proofed. Eventually, he'll get replaced. But uh, now that he's able to do a bit more damage, um, he ain't going nowhere, man. He is uh, he is, he is completely back in full swing, I would say. So let's just throw some AoEs out here. This might kill. Yeah. Dang. Damn. I'm, I'm happy with it. I think that it's sick. I think that it's actually doing pretty well. We'll see how I, how I like it on my own account. Definitely could be a big difference there. But I have a pretty decent account. I'm not. I don't have as much attack related as he does, <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. Or not attack related. Attack from uh, the boxy C buffs. But either way, that, I think we're gonna call it there because I mean we're fighting a bunch of bots anyway. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts. If you like his relic, if you think it's meh, if you you know if you're not worried about it. Obviously, I think a lot of people. Uh, you know, if you can't beat floor three of, you know, Ratatasker, you're not in a hurry to get it anyway. Um, but I think if you can beat at least floors one and two, you'll be able to get a lot of these relics sort of like after this one comes out, depending on how often they come out with relics, you can probably get them pretty consistently if I had to guess. So that should be also kind of nice. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy. Have a good one. Good one. I appreciate you. Subscribe. I will talk to you tomorrow.